Hey tribe, welcome to the HDDC HD Designs Crochet channel. Today is all about my bargain yarn haul and pattern books. So if you're a returning viewer, welcome back, hi, and if you're brand new, hello, welcome. So today I want to show off my yarn haul. I have lots of yarn spread around. I have been trying not to spend too much money on yarn um, but then when you find cheap bargain yarn it's acceptable right? So if you follow me on my Twitter I'm at HGDesignsCrow C-R-O I posted a little sneak peek of what I've gone and brought and um, I need to post it to Instagram for you all as well on my Facebook so where to start? Should we just jump straight in? Should, I just, should we just get to it? So there's a couple of places that I have been to buy yarn. I have checked my local yarn shops and everything's reasonably priced within the city centre but there wasn't anything that I really really wanted other than maybe a pink DK which I have by the bucket load, by the box load. Um, so the other places that I like to check frequently, regularly for bargain yarn is Pound Shops, um, Pound Stretcher, Pound World. I suppose if you're in America, that's like a dollar store. Um, and then I also check um, sort of Wilkinson's. They have a little yarn section. Sainsbury's have a yarn section. Um, and then there's a few shops around city centre that have, um, they sell like curtains and soft furnishings, like um, bed linen, and they have yarn. And then charity shops is also a really good place. Um, charity shops is one of my favourite. So let me go through some of what I've got. That's what we're all here for. Um, We'll go with supermarkets first. So, well, it's not really a supermarket, but food shop, Aldi. I think we all know that Aldi stores have amazing yarn. Um, I went on a little mad dash on my lunch break in the middle of last week, and I picked up dun, 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 two of these beauties. So it's So Crafty by Aldi. Um, can you see the little batch? It's in this lovely burgundy Aran yarn. Really like the colour. Um, it's eighty percent acrylic and twenty percent wool, and it's really soft. They have a little. These are all packaged with a little hole that says "Feel me, touch me." So it's like this in the shop. Not weird. Um, it's so soft. Four hundred grams, so it's approximately eight hundred meters. And it was £3.99. So I got two. This one is still in its bag. It's got the little touch me. <laughs> I've taken this one out to show you. So I have 800 grams, 1,600 metres approximately, of burgundy Aran yarn. Just waiting to be made into something. This, along with all of the other yarn, is probably going to become a jumper or a garment of some sort. Um, I think this is going to be quite a large, loose sweater. The question is, knitted or crochet? So that's my first yarn little haul. That's from Audi. They come into stock every now and then, so I just check every other week, every few weeks, just to see what's there. They had the same huge balls in navy. Um, was it navy or was it a royal blue? There was some sort of blue. Then they had like a, a neutral Aran. Then they also had um, the colour cakes, multicoloured yarn cakes, um, which I chose not to get because I have a few that I've not done anything with. They were 4 99 which I think is a really good price. Um, and then they had four balls of DK for three ninety nine. So again, four hundred grams of yarn for just under four pound. Three ninety nine. Did I say that? So yeah, definitely be checking there again. So that's going to become some sort of jumper. 
what other yarn did I get? So my next place I went to was Pound Stretcher. Pound Stretcher. Let's check the receipt. No, Pound World. I'm glad I checked that. So I went to Pound World and I bought all of this yarn. So the first thing to show you, I'm gonna go with, we'll stay with Arin. I've got this Arin. It is a neutral colour. It does say shade 04B. I'm not very imaginative, but it's sort of this tweed. It's got the um, flex in there, which I think is really, really nice. Now, I know I said it was pound weld. These are two poundable. Um, so two pounds for 100 grams. It's 25% wool. The rest is acrylic. Um, it's not too badly priced for Aaron. It's a little bit, a little bit steep, but I really like the tweed. It's really on trend. I picked up three of these. So I've got 300 grams of it, which I'm hoping is enough to make a cropped jumper, like a, a loose oversized cropped. So it will, it will come to just above my waist around my waist um, and I think I want to crochet it. If I need more I will go get more um, so I might start that one first. If it had been a pounder ball I could have got six so come on pound world. Um, that, I think that's going to work out really nicely because I've only got 300 grams I'm a little bit hesitant to swatch but I, I will need to. So what do we think to that? And then I got some chunky. This is again from Palm World and it's so soft. I got this chunky grey. Honestly, it's so soft and squishy. It's 100% acrylic um, and these were a pound for 100 grams. Is this 100 grams? <laughs> just having a moment where that looks well no that's DK and that's 100 maybe it is it doesn't say does it say it's 100 grams I thought I had 200 then back to the chunky it's 100 grams of chunky 100% acrylic it's so soft it's so squishy Um. It recommends a 9 to 10 mil needle and I have got some 9 mil circulars. I purchased 10 balls of this. I can't pick them all up but there's four, there's five, there's six and there's four more at my feet. So that's one pound a ball for a hundred grams. I am definitely going to swatch with that. I again got chunky sweater, chunky scarf. I don't know. I just want to get making. So that is my bargain yarn haul. They also have this in black my brother sent me some footage of his local pound world they've got this in black and they've got it in a very cream color um i am tempted to get some black and do some sort of fair isle scarf i just don't know how it will fare with it being acrylic and it's quite fuzzy well i think it's quite furry um, failing that then I'm thinking a big sort of cowl or snood um, or a big a big comfy jumper I don't know in case you hadn't realized I've brought all of that yarn and don't have any patterns for it so but it was so cheap a pound of wool and I got ten balls two pounds that that was quite pricey really for 
for Pound World, but I love the tweed. I got three balls and I bought two of these at 3 99 So all in all, with what I spent and I got over two kilos of yarn, that's amazing. So that is all of the yarn that I've bought. And also while I was on a little bargain haul, I have gone to some local shops to try and get some patterns. So the first place that I go to, that I go to quite frequently, is The Works. Um, I think they're all across the UK, I don't know about overseas. They have a really good selection of books, normal reading books um, and right through to craft books, recipe books, all the books. Um, they're always at a reduced price, so say they're twelve ninety nine in Waterstones, it'll be £3 in the works. Um, and I, I check the craft section pretty much weekly just to see what they've got in. Um, and I picked up, let me get it, this book by Nikki Trench. I've got a couple of her books. This is my latest. It's called Geek, Sh Geek Chic Crochet. Or Geek Chick. But I'm going to go with Chic. Um, I picked it up because of this jumper dress. I think that looks really, really nice. And then as I flicked through it, I realised that it has a pattern on here, in here, sorry, that I blogged about wanting to make. So if any of you are my blog followers, which is hgdesignscrochet.co.uk, you will know that I have blogged about wanting to make this. Peter Pan cardigan um, and I was going to buy the pattern by itself and then I found it in here and this book cost me three pound three pounds and it's got loads of amazing patterns in so it's got the jumper dress that's on the front which I'm tempted to make and I don't know whether to make it in the burgundy. What do you think? Can I carry off all of that colour? I'm not really a big, I don't wear a lot of colour. So I could make the jumper dress in the burgundy though I think I would need to go get some more. Let me just double check. It calls for It calls for 13 gram, 13 50 gram balls in DK, and that's Aaron. So it wants what, 500, 600, 650 grams? I've got 800 grams of Aaron. Mmm. Okay. Comment below, people. Do I use the burgundy to make the jumper dress? And if so, what contrasting colour? Grey. What contrasting colour would you go for? Grey. Comment below. Should I? Shouldn't I? Um, also in this book is this little turban headband which I'm thinking of making because I'm going to Edinburgh Yarn Festival and it's going to be cold. It's been cold here because of the beast from the east. There's also things like the bows. three pound. I'm really really impressed with that and I might make that dress. Part of me just doesn't want to because what if I don't like it? I'm not very good at envisaging the colour. Comment below. And then just to finish off my bargain haul from the high street, I went charity shop diving. Um, I went a few weeks back with Abby and then a few weeks back with Becky. She's Bula Maid um, in two different locations, so Loughborough and Leicester. <sighs> Look what we found. Let me get my... This is my pattern folder. The things I've printed, things I've brought. Um, 
patterns I've inherited from my mum. Okay, so we went into Loros, um, which I am really support as a charity because they've done a lot for my family. And I found all of these patterns um, and they were, they've got prices on the front, but I only paid like 25p per pattern. I've got the receipt somewhere. Um, okay. They put them through as books. <laughs> um, I got four, five, six patterns for three pound from Loras. First one being this jumper, which I really like. It calls for do, 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 do. Hmm. It calls for their own yarn. That's the thing with older patterns. You have to work out what sort of yarn it is. Um, but it asks for a three and a half mil needle and a ten mil needle. Um, I think I could do that in. It is, it's DK. I could do that in Aaron. So again, this. Or this. Jumper dress. I could do that, though I was gonna crochet it. Um, and that would require for me, where's the, uh, six, Six lots of 40 grams. Why can't they put it in a, a nice easy number that I can add up in my head? 240 grams. Oh, and I've got 300 of the Aaron. So that is a definite contender. Though I'd need to go get needles. Um, I also picked up this Wendy book it's got a ton of patterns in and um, I'll just show you my favourites quickly. Oh, this is cropped top. It calls for cotton. I found some on the wool warehouse and um, I would only need four balls. It would cost me less than five pounds to make that. That is something I want to make for the summertime. Um, I actually even like the wrap top, maybe for work, because I work in an office, it's a little bit plungy. Um, ooh. And it's got some nice cardigans in there, I can show you another day. And then, for all the crocheters out there, going, 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 crochet. Can you see those? So it's got this bobble one which I really like, and then it's got this one, and that's all trebles in the body, which appeals to me, because I love the treble stitch. Um, the treble stitch one asks for, they use um, the Wendy, the Wendy Dolce, which I think is a, quite a light, maybe more like a four ply. Um, but I do really like that and I think I could rock that though I don't have the yarn for it at the moment. Um, then there was, okay, this is, I, I call them vintage which my mum doesn't like because she says they're not old. But they were, they're older than me so this is my retro jumper dress pattern. Um, it calls for chunky yarn. Mm -hmm. But let's see how much it needs. I would want. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd need 700 grams, and I've got a thousand, I've got a kilo. So, what do we reckon? Oh. Oh. Comment below, do we think? So this would be a jumper dress. Yep, just have to imagine that in the grey, not the crazy 80s print. Jumper dress. And then, 
top. That's my planning at the moment. But if anybody has got any patterns out there that they want to direct me to, please do. And can I just show you on the back of this, is this pattern. Look at that. I'd actually wear that. And this is um, a sed sedar, however you want to say it. Um, which is still, all of these seem to be manufacturing. Um, then I also picked up this mohair. Um, that was from the little sized and shop that I went to with Becky from Bula Made. We spent quite a little bit of time. She was diving for sewing patterns and I was diving for um, all the crochet, all the knitting, and I'm definitely going to go back in there. I picked up this one as well. I think that was a Loros one. Um, and a few more. I'll we'll just quickly show you. Save that one. This one I'm going to make for work. It reminds me of Blair from Gossip Girl. It's quite preppy. And it's a DK again. What do we think to that? I could totally boss that. I love the little blouse. Just need a headband and it'll be Blair Wood. Blair Woods. <sighs> so, that's the patterns. That's my yarn haul. So, if you are on a tighter budget, I would definitely recommend going on a charity shop haul, um, high street haul, as I've done. My patterns were from 25p up to maybe 50p in places. Uh, the works have also got amazing books, um, helpful guides, and as for yarn, charity shops, pound shops, and Aldi, Sainsbury's, I've got Sainsbury's yarn as well, DK, are a winner right now. So if you've liked this little yarn haul, let me know below. If you've got any comments on what you think I should make, again, comment below. If you've got any free patterns out there or um, low price patterns that I can make anything out of these yarns, let me know and if you want to know any more information on this yarns comment below so like subscribe share thank you for watching happy making bye